Hello, it is the Gaming Duo here. John can't be with us today, so it's just me, Dane. So today I thought I'd do a mod spotlight on the very helpful mod called Familiars Mod. Basically, what it does is it adds this item called the Fam Guide. I think it's the Fam Guide. Let me just check. Yes, the Fam Guide. And you can, it's craftable. And what it does is it adds all of these cool things called Familiars. That basically they give you, they lend you their special abilities of the character, apart from in some cases where it adds like Notch and Chuck Norris, who obviously aren't Minecraft characters. Well, Notch is to do with Minecraft, but he's not an actual character. Anyway, it can be crafted by putting a bug in the center of a crafting bench and surrounding it by gunpowder, bone, spider eye, and a rotten flesh. It can be in any formation, the four mob drops but the book has to be in the center and then you get this which is the fam guide and um, basically when when you open it you just right click and you'll see that you have all of these different familiars here that you can spawn into but you do actually have to unlock them which requires you to use experience levels and in this video basically I'm just going to go through them show you what each of the familiars does and how you get them which is pretty simple as just uh, literally just click the side button here and click unlock okay so basically this is the one up which is like a mario one up mushroom so when you want your health drops to zero it revives you so i'll just go straight ahead and unlock that and equipped which for this i will need to be in game mode zero and as you can see you get your little one up mushroom next to the side of your head and so you just drop in the lava there we go and I'm just gonna chuck myself in the water before I burn to death and did anybody hear that? it had the little Mario one up sound so and when that happened it regenerated all of your health it doesn't regenerate your food bar though but I think it's pretty handy and it's one that can be used in single player without making the player like too overpowered which is good because quite a lot of these mods whenever you use them it usually makes a player quite overpowered which can be quite annoying to some players that have worked hard to try and actually get items that they want need and then you just get some people that are just like yeah I'm just gonna download a mod and put my way straight up to the top Okay, and anyway, on to the second one, which is the chicken, which you don't need to unlock because you already have it unlocked from the beginning. And it allows you to glide for two seconds when you fall from a high place. And yep, that you get your little chicken floating next to your head. Same with the one up mushroom, same with every familiar. You get a little item of it floating next to you. And so, yeah, you can just glide down. And of course, you won't take full damage as long as you're gliding which is just common sense really okay so next you get Chuck Norris which I really like this one it requires 15 XP levels to unlock and then you just equipped him and it allows you to roundhouse kick people by pressing R so if I just go back to game mode 1 so I don't use all up my zombie spawner eggs and you just roundhouse kick and they go flying like that and just go just by simply pressing R and it can be any mob at all that you can do it with which is brilliant okay so what familiar have we got next okay we've just done Chuck Norris onto the companion cube okay I'll just equip this one it costs 7 XP to unlock and equipped and this companion cube it actually allows you to walk on lava so if I go back to game mode zero which is survival I can just walk on lava which is it's quite odd because you have almost like a slipper a slipping effect as if you're on ice which it's quite difficult to get used to I mean running over a large patch of lava with this effect would be quite odd but running over little bits like that is fine so yeah, that's the companion cube familiar. 
Now onto the Enderman, which allows you to teleport by pressing R, and it teleports you to wherever your, cur wherever your cursor is, but it also takes two hearts damage, so you need to watch out when using this so you don't use it too much, teleport somewhere really far away, and then end, end up dying over there so, like once you've teleported, because you won't be able to get your stuff back very easily. This one requires 25 XP to unlock, so of course it is quite an advanced one. And I've equipped it, and R, ah, and it teleports you to wherever your cursor is. And teleport there. Yep. Ooh, I'm dying. I should probably get myself a potion or something, never mind. Can't be bothered now. Okay, so yeah, that's the Enderman familiar. Here we have the Fairy, which allows the player to take no full damage, no matter what height they jump off of and it allows the player to glide down safely whenever they jump off of anything as I will now demonstrate and this one doesn't have any time limit on the glide unlike the chicken oh what's going on oh hello there didn't realize you were burning like I've shown you this one just allows you to jump from any heights no fall damage and you glide to safety so that's that's pretty helpful um now there's Herobrine, which has the same effect as the Enderman, so I'm just not going to bother showing you that one. It costs the same as the Enderman to unlock as well. There's the Iron Golem, which does 2.5 damage whenever it hits a mob and also throws mobs up in the air, which I found out it's most useful when you're... Wait, what? Yes, it is most useful for when you're attacking zombies, so they don't get close, like this. Well, I got to keep away because I'm running low on health and I don't have to fly the whole way back. Anyway, so yeah, that was the Iron Golem. After the Iron Golem, you have Na'vi, which is from the Legend of Zelda series. Who and whenever diamonds or emeralds are nearby, you hear the high pitch Na'vi going, "Hey, listen!" Which I'll equip it now and show you. This requires seven XP, which is surprising considering how useful it is. Um, so yeah, hey, you hear that? Hey, listen. Which yeah, I can imagine it get quite listen. annoying eventually, but still very helpful for finding those rare emerald and diamonds. Okay, after Navi, you have Notch, which la which spawns lightnings on enemies when you press R, which I'll equip this now, and it costs 20 XP levels to unlock him, and I will go just go to game mode. Uh, one quickly because I'm running low on health and I don't want to die and also I need more zombie eggs because I used them all up all the baby zombies and now you can just go and spawn lightning to sap them all up which I like that I like that a lot but it makes you a bit overpowered because I think it it's almost like a one hit kill on any mob well I know it does 20 damage because it manages to kill these in one hit so yeah, it's extremely powerful, but I think it might be a little bit unfair because you might be a bit overpowered. Okay, then you get Ocelots, which basically give you a really fast sprint speed, which you don't have to pay anything to unlock that one because it's available from the beginning, the same as the chicken. And sprint! Ah! Yeah, this is your new faster sprint speed, which I can imagine would be really helpful for outrunning those pesky spiders that I always seem to get stuck with, who are always chasing after me. The one my autograph, that's what it is. Anyway, so that's the ocelot. Ah, oh, cute little ocelot floating above me. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, after the ocelot, you have Rana, which I'm not sure which game this is from, but all I know is that you can jump really high and you take no fall damage. So, yeah. I think it's actually high enough to jump on top of this pillar here. Oh, yep, there we go. And of course, because you take no fall damage, just land like that. No fall damage at all. Not. I would have. It would have came up and shown me if I had full damage because I'm in creative. You'd hear the little thud on the floor, but no, nothing. Okay. After Rana, you have the skeleton, which basically it shoots arrows at any nearby mobs, and it does two damage. Which I will show you this. You you seen him shooting away? Which is odd, but arrows actually fire backwards. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but the arrows actually fire backwards when they go towards the enemy. 
Anyway, and the next one after the skeleton is the is the snow column, but I'm not actually going to show you this one because it's effectively the same as the um, skeleton, but it does less damage, so there's no point in me showing you that one. It's nothing special. Okay, then you have the spider, which I love the abilities on the spiders, the spider and the spider jockeys. What you do is basically you hold shift when you get near a wall, and you can just walk up it, which I really like this ability. And it also works on other blocks as well. You can do it on single blocks, of, of course, solid walls. It also works on, let me just repair this wall. It also works on walls that have breaks in them, like this. So you can just climb up them straight away, no interruptions. Which, it, which I like it, I like that. Okay, so what's the next one? I think the last one is the spider jockey. Yet yeah, spider jockey, which basically has the exact same effect as the spider and the skeleton at once, where you can shoot mobs with arrows while climbing up walls, which is extremely helpful. So, say you're being chased by a zombie. Let me just spawn us a zombie being chased by him. You can just climb up the wall away from him. He can't come get you, and you're also shooting at him with arrows. Ah, I thought he was about to climb in the lava himself then. So yeah, it's really helpful that one. I would prefer, I would prefer to have that one. That's got to be my favourite one, to be honest. And finally, the squid, which allows you to stay underwater for long amounts of time. I think it's almost infinite how long you can stay underwater for. And to show you this, I will just... Ah, that's not how you spell game mode. Game mode zero, which is survival. And just jump straight underwater. Your actual um, bubble meter doesn't seem to go down no matter how long you stay underwater, which is good. And this will be helpful for when new new update comes out. Um, for going on underwater explorations to the new um, temples, which is will be brilliant. That's all from this mod spotlight. Thanks for watching. Maybe next time John will be here. Grr, why couldn't he have been here? Anyway, thanks for watching. Come back and watch whatever video we make next. Bye! I think it'll get you that far. Say that. Well, you, get, you could walk away.